Hey guys, uh, Rudy here just with a really quick video on some uh, tips and tricks that can make uh, using idle just, just that little bit less painful for you guys, okay? Um, so these are just a couple of quick things. Let's say I'm working on my assignment one here, right? And I've, um, you know, I've got some, some text or a message that I'm trying to send, uh, you know, a secret message, say, coincidental, I don't know, just any random old message. And I can encrypt that message, which definitely works. Don't look at my code on the right. It's a perfectly good assignment. I spelt, I definitely use the word text instead of message there. Let's just go back and change that. Uh, yep, cool. I've encrypted my, my super special message. Uh, I can decrypt my message as well. Cool, decrypted my message, code works perfectly. Now let's say um, I wanna go back and I actually wanna rerun this encrypt message again, okay? So you've got a couple of options here. Uh, one thing that a lot of people will do is they'll come here and they'll copy paste. So they'll control C, they'll click down here in their control V and they'll run it again. And that will work, right? Okay, but some of the faster stuff you can do just to hope you guys get uh, better with using, uh, using idle is if I click anywhere on any of the lines that I've previously written text on. So if I just have my cursor here and I hit enter, boom, it brings it up down the bottom here and I can run it again. And that was the one that failed. So I don't know why I picked that one, but if I pick this one, cool, runs perfectly. Can click any of these lines and do them that way. An even faster way, and one that you'll see the tutors using a lot uh, in tutorials and stuff, is I can actually scroll back through all the messages that I've sent already, okay? So the, the default keys for this are a bit awkward, but you can change them. So if on most people, uh, it's Alt-P and Alt-N, okay? Or on a Mac, it might be Command-P all uh, Command -P and Command-N, not too sure. But to change this, right, you come up into your options, Okay, so click the options, configure idle, uh, keys. Okay, now you wanna go through and you can change all of these by the way, but the one that this is dealing with is history next and history previous. Now you can see I've set mine just to be the up arrow and the down arrow, okay? Um, so if you wanna change it to that, just come onto these, click on it, go get new keys for selection, okay? Uh, you guys might get prompted to make a new key set at some point, I've already done that, so I'm not gonna get that but I just scroll down until you get the up arrow. Okay, okay. And for me, I get it, it's already in use. But for you guys, it would be like, cool, do you wanna overwrite this and make a new tool set? And you guys would say yes. Okay, and do the same for a history next and history previous. And what that allows you to do is just hit the up and down arrows, or you know, whichever hotkey works for you guys, but uh, I like the up and down arrows. Allows me to scroll back through these. Okay, now there are a couple of other, um, things you can do in idle to make editing the text itself a bit easier. So uh, let's say I've copy pasted this code out of somewhere, or I don't know, but it doesn't have the indentation, right? Now I can highlight both of these rows and hit tab and it'll, uh, idle will double tab, like it'll tab both of the rows, but I can't shift tab, okay, to sort of undo them. Now, for some reason in idle, the hotkeys for tabbing and untabbing are very different to normal and format Indent region and dedent region. These are the guys you're looking for. So on Windows computers by default, whoops, it is control bracket and control other bracket, <laughs> open and close bracket. Um, but this allows you to quickly shift text back and forth. Really useful if you have like an entire function that's at the wrong level of indent, you can just tab the whole thing in. Um, and the other sort of main useful thing here is uh, so let's say I don't like my decrypt function, but I wanna come back to it later, but I just wanna comment it out or, or something like that. I can highlight all of these and boom, there's a hotkey for that as well. Okay, so format, comment out region, uncomment region, alt three and alt four. These guys will comment it out and undo that. Okay, so I think on Mac it is the same again, might be control three, control four, something like that, I don't know, but you can just come up to the format and uh, check these two here. Okay, uh, but really easy way to comment out lots of code really quickly. Okay, and then we can undo it all in one go. Now, the final thing I just wanted to show you guys about idle, that can be a really sort of irritating thing to pick up is uh, let's let's say I'm writing another another function here. I'm writing a, um, a super encrypt function. Okay, this one's gonna be like super duper secure. Okay, so, uh, Obviously what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make my uh, my text, I'm gonna encrypt my text twice. Actually, no, 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 let's let's not even do this. Let's, let's do a print, print encrypt, okay? So I'm gonna print 
and I am going to encrypt my text and I'm just going to do this all in one function and it's going to be super easy, right? And uh, let's just say that I, I happen to put this code here. Okay. Now, when I try and run this code, idle is going to yell at me and it's going to say invalid syntax and it's going to highlight this def here and it's going to say there's something wrong with this def. Okay. Now, for those who are particularly keen, eyed they might have noticed that the actual error I have is that I am missing a close bracket on the line before. Okay. Now, idle is pretty dumb about this and it will only find the error afterwards. So basically when it hits the next sort of line that it realizes something is wrong. So most of the time with idle, if you get a red uh, syntax error, when you're loading your page, just remember that it's probably occurred on the line before and you want to come back and check the line before. Um, missing a closed bracket is the most common way that this happens. Okay. Um, but generally speaking, it's going to be on the line before. Uh, that's about all for me guys. So just a couple of quick things is just, you know, get used to the hotkeys. Um, get used to clicking on stuff and hitting enter to get it back down there. And it will just make testing your assignment so much, so much quicker, so much uh, less painless, less painful, more painless, less pain. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah, cool. Otherwise I will catch you guys in the next video.